welcome to Kids Academy. Hello, guys. Hello. 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 Today, I'll tell you about chess. What kind of game it is, and why some call it sport, and others a great art. Oh, oh! I know. I know why the chessboard is painted with black and white squares so beautifully, and it's very easy to jump on them. There you go. Both sport and art. <laughs> Yes, the chessboard is beautiful, but that's not its main feature. And what's the main one? It is designed for battle between two armies of chess pieces and their leaders, the chess players. So these are the chess armies? Yes, but uh, no one dies in the battle. The defeated piece just leaves the battlefield. This is the battlefield? And why is it covered with squares? The chessboard consists of 64 squares, 32 white squares and 32 black ones. Chess pieces form ranks on them and move along them, just like this. This is what the chess armies look like before a game. Both the black and the white armies have the same number of pieces, 16. The most numerous of them are pawns. They stand in the first row, and most often it's pawns that start the game. One should mention that all chess pieces move according to certain rules, and those rules are specific for each piece. Pawns can only move forward, and just for one square and they can only attack their enemy diagonally. Pawns are simple soldiers of a chess army, but the bravest of them can turn into higher ranks. How is that? The pawn that manages to cross the battlefield and reach the opposite side, the home front of the enemy, so to say, can turn into any piece the player wants. Cool! So it's like a medal for it? Yes. A reward for the courage and wit, not just for the pawn, but for the player as well, because he or she is the one who leads the pawn's way. And what pieces can pawns turn into? Into any of these pieces, except for the main one. Let's get to know them. These pieces are more important than pawns, and the most important of them is the king. At the beginning of a game, it takes place in the middle. Each chess army only has one king. No pawn can turn into a king, no matter how brave it's been. This is the tallest and the highest ranking piece. It represents the purpose of the game. This one piece? Right. The game first appeared in the ancient Near East. Yes, we had watched a movie about it before we came to your class. The words chess and check came to us from old languages, and they literally mean king. The purpose of the game of chess is a checkmate, which means the king is defeated. Away with the black king! Away with the white king! If an enemy piece defeats the king, the game is over, even if there are the king's soldiers left on the board. That's why the main task for each player is to preserve their king. Am I right, your majesties? The king can move in any direction, but for one square only. And who is standing beside the king? It's the queen, wearing a coronet. It's the most powerful piece. It can move for any number of squares in any direction. When the game starts, the queen always stands on a square of its own color. Why? All queens like their own color. It's a chess clock. 
It's ringing to tell us that today's lesson is over. Ah, at the most interesting point. This is just the beginning of my story about chess. Soon, I'll continue it. In the next episode, we'll learn the secrets of the chess clock, how it's different from a usual clock, and why it has two faces. Then we'll continue getting to know the chess pieces. We'll see the Royal Cavalry in action and realize how dangerous rooks can be. We'll also tell you why even bishops are part of the chess army and how they fight for the king. Don't miss the fun. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.